Hey, it's me, NLH Music, and this is my, this is the final closing time factor of video recovery thoughts, and guess what? We have a wonderful show for you today as well. So, uh, about ACLU, try, yeah, that's right, try to, to sue the feds and to bid Catholic groups to provide abortion to, to illegal immigrants. Oh, really, huh? Well, let's see you, let's see you at this, uh, Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Shahid is wrote a wonderful piece, and you're going to love it. So let's, let's, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? And, uh, get this show on the road, shall we? Because, because it happens because it happens. I mean, just as, I mean, just as just resolve that. So, um, Mine is tough to come by. And, um, it'll be good. Anyways, are you ready? I can too. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? And, yeah, you just added me. Anyways, final closing time your video coverage on starts right now. Hope you're ready. Kick the theme music, shall we? Let's do it. Um. to them as well. Oh. But the suit aims to obtain government records, try to relate to reproductive health care. Yeah, you sound, it, 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 it sounds like Obamacare to me. It sounds like it's worse to me. But it's worse to unaccompanied, uh, unaccompanied, uh, um, you know, who, immigrant children in the care of the federally funded Catholic agencies, which do not believe in abortion. You see, you see uh, abortion. Now, quote this from ACL, East ACLU staff attorney Brigitte Amiri. And it says, quote, we have heard reports that Catholic bishops are pro pro prohibiting Catholic charities from allowing teens in their care. To access critical services like contraception and abortion, even in the in, you know if the teenager has been been raped on a, on her journey to the to the United States or in a detention facility. Oh oh yeah, huh? but guess what? Kevin Abley, you know 
United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Quote this, let's be clear about the ACLU's pr pr purpose here. Ending the productive and successful partnership between the Catholic Church and the federal go government on the care and shelter of vulnerable populations. Well, well, guess what? Did you know that almost 60,000 unaccompanied minors, did you know that, illegally crossed over the line inside the Mexican border last year? And there are third were young girls, and Emory claims that 80%, you know, and you might think it's so smart that Brigitte claims to be 80% were victims of sexual, ah, you, you wish. No, what about the government? Here's the government you don't want to know. No, contracts with the, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops to care for those children until well, they can either reunite with a relative or facing an immigrant immigration hearing. And guess what? It receives seventy-three million dollars overall. The government. What about ten million dollars? About coming to a care unaccompanied with minors back, you know, back in two thousand thirteen. Oh, here's a letter from the from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. That's right, USCCB. Shows that the organization is struggling to obtain obtain the regulations proposed by the yeah, that's right, President Obama and his stupid Obama administration. Contractors provide abortions to that's right, abortions to immigrants who have been raped. Raped. Here's what you've been missing. Hey, Brigitte, Brigitte let me put this in rant for you. Catholic bishops are taking millions of dollars in federal grants. And you know why? Because you said that they're imposing their beliefs in a vulnerable population who they support to serve and raise serious concerns. You wish. Uh, you wish. And you might think it's so smart about separate, separation of church and state in everybody's constitution. Well, so what? I don't care about being separating church and state or what have you. Hmm. Have you? Think again. Think again. Kevin Abley, for decades, says this. We have provided extraordinary services to vulnerable population without facing abortion. And despite the ACLU liberal extremist buffoons trying to try to skirt the con contrary, the law doesn't doesn't permit that. It protects it. That and he's right. Apple Appleby says it right. And it stands in in for an instance, which a client his organization's care for a service con contrary to the belief of this church are very aware. And he insists that he, that the USCCB informs the government of a girl's desire to access reproduction, such as health care, if the government has, you know who, the government has legally custody, uh, has legal custody of this child. And that's why the ACLU, and that means you, that guess what, guess what ACLU, you got another thing coming, you and your stupid ACLU's liberties about this one. But you know what, because it is only doing for federal government on the USCCB policy at, the, at this moment, but it will consider this, the legal stance the action, depending on what the document document says that to indicate the government has not yet officially responded to the ACLU's request. Told you so, ACLU. Look what you've done. You create a huge monster. 
out of you know who, out of, out of this mess. That means ASAP, it, that means you needs to be shut down completely. And you, all you ACL, you baboons, you too, Brigitte, you destroy this great, great nation. We as conservatives, and rest of the Catholic people, yeah, that's right. Catholic people were not gonna, not gonna destroy this great nation. You need, uh, all you ACLU buffoons need help. You are such a stupid, idiotic creep, and that's what you are. You are. And don't tell me that. Don't don't give me that church and state in there, cousin. But please, ACLU. Shut up. I had enough of your pathetic words. Thank you. Thank you, Addy. For right, 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 this week. I very much. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. Now I know it's going to be good. Cool. So, anyways, um, tomorrow. We're gonna be at Grace University. This is the last time, last time at Grace University for um, Thursday's newspapers, and uh, it's gonna be good. We can do this. We're gonna do this at Grace University tomorrow. And of course, Time Factor Weekend starts with you know you Time Factor video, video weekend video commentary thoughts, and so is my Time Factor radio show, and so is Mumford and Sons and Gaina Marino. This will be our guest, and so is the last one. This, this is the last time for all new episode of Open Line Saturday Night right here on all new Time Breaker Television Show. This will be good. And we're going to do this again for the last time. Because when season number 10, wow, it's a bang. So this is our last goodbyes for our 10th and final season. I know, I know it's an anniversary, but somebody's going to do it. But who knows? And don't forget Time Breaker Files this Saturday on You Know Who. You guessed it. Fox News. <laughs> and uh, then we get the big season finale. Starts uh, uh, starts this uh, next Thursday, and next not not this weekend, but next weekend. So just just forget about that. Anyway, so we get the Facebook and follow lhmusicmusic.com and twitter.com. You know my username, email is music time, and so it's time for website, lhmusictimefighter.jimdo.com. So it's time for page on Facebook as well. I gotta go see you tomorrow at Grace University for the all new Thursday's newspaper. This is the last time I gotta go to Grace University. Trust me about that. And uh, the second one there, don't forget Time Factor Weekend as well. LH Music's about to sign up for God's Blessings. And I salute you, America. Take care. Bye bye for now.